Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to use the put char function. So similar to get char, get char gets one character from the, you know, the input, the standard input STD IM, whereas put char is like standard output STD, you know, OUT, standard out, where it will print to the output in this case it is the terminal and it is going to do one character the benefit of doing this over printf is this one doesn't need to be formatted specifically for a particular string which makes put char significantly faster than printf and if you just want to do some basic characters then you know printing then put char is great to use it as usual, we will need a hash include stdio.h and then in the curly braces we're going to put, what we're going to do is do a for loop. Again, if you don't know about loops, feel free to check out my videos, you know, covering loops and all that other stuff. And I'm going to create a character in here, so char, I'm going to call it c, and I'm going to make it equal to uppercase a semicolon and I'm gonna say wall C is less than or equal to uppercase Z we'll just keep incrementing C so we're incrementing it like it's an integer we'll be incrementing the underlying ASCII value so this will basically allow us to print off every character from A to Z in uppercase and in curly braces we are just going to put Ah, that was meant to be a semicolon. I was wondering why that was giving me an error. I was like, that looks right to me. It was almost. Now we just put put char. You can put a character directly like that. That's fine. And there it should disappear. Or you can use the character variable that we got. So save that. Give it a run. And there you go. From A to Z is printed out using the put char function. Nothing more to it than that. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. Almost 4,000 members now. We should have 4,000 members by mid-July. And there's several programming channels, several people that will help you. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.